Hi, welcome to my demonstration of Ubuntu and audio systems. I'll show you the audio systems that are installed on this one. It's installed with Tarsal. For example, it's just all the standard stuff you can get in the, the standard my packages. Most things on Ubuntu are free. It does program itself as you go on. It's beyond Spectra Audio. It goes outside the spectrum. And it doesn't have a silent sound cop like the one of those bumps in the road you can run over. I'll show you how to install that sort of thing. There's two ways. <coughs> you go through the Ubuntu Software Center. There's perishable things. The first thing to get the base level in, you go to terminal editor. <coughs> Install task cell. I've already done this, but. Yeah, it's already installed. I have to run sudo because it has to run in uh, admin. And you can basically go through and select what options you want to install. There's an audio and recording and editing suite, 2 and 3D creation, different desktops, that sort of thing. And there you go. To install Ubuntu, what you need to do is go to releases.ubuntu.com and you'll find several ISOs on here. Topics the latest version, Unicorn. Download the ISO for your thing, the one you want, and then you do a search up here like Ubuntu install creating USB key install Windows, for example, if you've only got a Windows environment. And you'll find links that go through there to areas that allow you to, like this pen drive tool here, for creating USB key, you can boot off and install. Also, trial on that if you want to have a look at it. So, after you install Task Cell, there's an option up here where you can install the extras. And these are some of the ones that are in the application. So, some you have to pay for, but the price is a bare minimal. Ubuntu writes itself, it writes its drivers on the fly. It basically goes around in oscilloscopes every time it beats. And, um,. Yeah, it does study the market, it does download other people. There's something called whoopsie in it that occasionally when you boot you get not the actual system error, you get a whoopsie error that someone in the system is for some reason saying that it's running a function just in the DJ of the hard drives and that sort of thing. And um, yeah, it's apparently um, done a whoopsie, you know, it got the wrong system, it's Ubuntu. If you ever see the actual error message ever, you'll know the difference. That's a bit around Ubuntu. It's a great thing. You notice mine's displaying there's a mouse in the house. That's because someone's trying to physically bug the room at the moment. And we're just using all their intellectual property to basically in the DJ write more Ubuntu and help Ubuntu write itself. Which is one of the greatest things about it. The droid owns itself because it writes itself. So it owns you in the room you're in. It's not like a closed source piece like in coming through the windows or Smackintosh where it's got all these endless closed licenses and just say you browse a website that uses a pirate piece of software to make a banner then some company is going to come along at some point and say this bit of intellectual property you wrote in this month after listening to this pirate song and that banner we actually own because of yada 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 with open source you own your own IP we've got enough we've written this you know I mean, you've got things like GIMP for example which we've renamed because we swear Adobe just keep ripping this off, like it's just got endless plugins. Like, I'll show you around with some of this stuff. Where it is just a simple piece of work in the mix the mastering thing. Uh, where is it? This here comes from multi track master. You know how just getting plugins for your Windows stuff is almost impossible? You know, I'll show you how many plugins this thing's got. That's just the filters. This is the image editor. And there's more. More. Yeah, 
Yeah, this goes endlessly. We still swear half these effects you find on Windows, they're just reproducing. Like, look at all the plugins here. There's a lot more than that as well. That's audio, this is, that's what I've been recording my FLAC files on. Which is an open source mastering file that if you put on Thoughtful, which I spoke to them directly about mastered audio files after a particular incident with Thoughtful was acting up, um, it doesn't actually display FLAC files. I'll put them there, but it won't display them. So, audio master file. Yeah, there you go. Let's be very on to.